Hello everyone, and welcome to the Wolf Among Us. <laughs> no, not right. Welcome everyone to Batman, the Telltale series. Recording this in pre-events, aka I won't be uploading these until probably after the holiday season. But yeah. So they made some changes to Telltale system. It's more clicky noises. You can actually scroll through things. But yeah. Also I'll probably have to finish the Walking Dead season one. Before I upload these, anyway. And Walking Dead Season 3 is out, so... I'll have to get into that eventually, once the, all five episodes are out. Because it's just tedious for me to start on one episode, then finish it, then have to wait. But anyway, Episode 1 of Batman The Telltale Series. So I know a decent bit of Batman lore and stuff like that. And of course, Arkham games. No, I'm not going to be doing the Arkham games. I mean, I like Arkham Asylum, but that Metroidvania with all the and all the trophies and stuff to collect is just rather tedious for me. Especially in Arkham City in the later games. Because, yeah, so many trophies to collect. But anyway, episode one. Ooh, I can select a bat tech color. How's this here is going to be mostly blind since I haven't actually done it. But, here's the thing that's a Telltale game. It actually works better if it's blind. <laughs> I could be less demeaning of Telltale's choices that don't actually matter, but we'll keep reminding you of them every single chapter. So I'm not saying blue, red. I asked like purple. It looked sort of almost slightly pink. And I like pink. But purple. Close enough. So previously on Batman. Batman faced the loading screen. It was black, with a flashing white bat signal. Ah uh, yes, of course, this game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is terrible by how you might play. We'll remind you of that constantly. <laughs> uh, I like Telltale games, but yeah, I'm a bit mean to them. I hope I got the other settings correct. City Hall, 8.32 p.m. Hey! What are you- Well, this isn't going to be one of your children's Batman games, that's for sure. He just got shot on the head. Get it open. On it. Hey, you think he's gonna show? He'll bring the whole goddamn place down. Stay focused. We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us.
Christ. Move in. Get in. I heard stories, you know. Sent three home in an ambulance. The rest in body bags. No wonder the cops want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. With all the other flying animals. Now, oh, what we asked, what they mean about bat tech cutler. Probably move. Huh? You should probably say something. <laughs> what would happen if I didn't press key bell? <laughs> um. Wait, what? Bruce, you can't keep doing this. I have to. <laughs> no one else will. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed, the city is safer now. But it's made you a target. And people will keep you in the crosshairs until you're shot out of the sky. Yeah, well, that's the point. Let them come. <laughs> Shit! The hell did he go? Whatever got in, don't let it get out. You should really be checking the ceilings. What was that? Like for gargoyle statues. I know you're trying to create a myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. I'm Batman. Come at! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Press all the buttons. Open 
door for them. Didn't your mother teach you to knock? Behind you, big boy. Huh? Hey, Dave. Intimidating, you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you, so are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. <sighs> Without a scratch. So far. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. Gotham needs a hero. Someone to hunt down people like you. So that makes me, what, a villain? Sounds fun. Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. We sound less like Bring that, it, man. Bat. More like a demon. It's over. I wouldn't be so sure. Why go to all that trouble for this? Shit! A myth can't be killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. Thanks, Alfred. God damn it! I said don't shoot you! No! Wait! Yeah, we should probably 
far safer. Save yourself before actually dying, but you know. Ugh. Guess I was wrong about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake or yours. <laughs> Don't struggle or you'll fall. No, but that's what you crave the struggle. I know men like you. Dot, dot, dot. Bye, Bat. <laughs> Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Less crit time. Don't let tombstones Less be your times. family legacy. Well then. Time to save the city. Try and place when this is in the Batman <laughs> timeline. Because apparently we don't exactly know. Catwoman at the moment, so. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. And even one who cut yeah, Gotham's crime rate in half. Face. Spoilers, he becomes For too long, face. this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. <laughs> if only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Yeah. Say hi, Bruce. <laughs> hi, Bruce. <laughs> well, I tee him up and he knocks him down. That's how Mr. Wayne and I do business. Thank you, thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. Hmm, sounds a bit like, uh... Mr. Wayne! Well, the movie. Thank you for opening Time your house to us. Be... Now, I um, know this is the, the biggest mansion one. in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? Rises. I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Just wanted to make an entrance. Congratulations, you almost missed it. You are a pillar of this city and my campaign. I need you here, tuxedoed and shaking hands. No one came here tonight to see me. Some champagne. They want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent! We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. So just, just put on drink. your billionaire smile and don't punch anyone. Ah, a little liquid courage before facing your adoring public? This will like help you too, people. Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. Which, for the record, I have not been since before last school. <laughs> I like that. Put a dent all right, in crime. all right, all right. How about, uh, put a dent in crime? Hmm? Look at you. That's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me. We change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. Yeah, I'm gonna say the timeline's around the second movie. The whole Harvey becoming too famous. Though the Joker is around bothering us. Yeah. Pause. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. 
Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband... Voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. Well, thank you. But we're all here tonight because we want to make a difference. And that's what it's going to take. Every single one of us. Not just me, not just Mr. Dent. Everyone. Right, right. Of course. They will. Old remember. families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Oh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Yeah, Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, everything. that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding works. Golden Age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. <laughs> There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. Why and bad? it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get... Creeps like this Batman. I'd say it all depends on the man. Sometimes you need a person who will go off script. Such as dressing up in a bat costume? Yeah, and taking out the criminals who ruin our city. Though the cape may be a bit much. <laughs> uh, don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible, truly terrible. Yeah, and tragedy like I'll that at such him. a young age it must have been crippling. If only that... Uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment maybe uh, well I don't like to think about maybes and I'm sure you don't either well thank you <laughs> I wish my parents could be here speaking with you too about that and thank you Bruce for investing in the health of this city's future you have our support Mr. Dent go get him we're on our way yeah, we're gonna put a dent <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Well, these ain't being criticized on my choices yet. That's oh, a well, good song. Hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicky Vale. Not interested. And reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he certainly doesn't have any time either. Tonight is strictly off the record. We can talk, but nothing gets written down. I'm okay with that. I was just hoping to see what makes Bruce Wayne tick. This is quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now. So formal. Call me Bruce. Well, <laughs> Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. But how are you doing? Oh, how am I doing in general? You should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing like better this. now that you're here. Well, I'll tell you, if all these stuffed shirts weren't around, I'd give you the private tour. Oh, my. Mr. Wayne, you've... you've got something on your collar. Um... Is that blood? Yeah. What? It looks like... Oh, this? No, that's nothing. It just, uh... Cut myself shaving. What, your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding. Kidding. Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but, uh... Another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. Um, he, he's a mob boss. 
And what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary yeah. evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham, for all of us. But he's a At least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. Jesus, Harvey, inviting a known criminal to your fundraiser doesn't exactly look good for your squeaky clean image. Let me worry about that. A word of warning, Bruce? Play nice. Right. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. Oh, man, all flash, no class. Well, you couldn't afford it. Yeah, right. Carmine Falcone, thank you for welcoming me into your home. Everyone's judging you. You're a respectable man, I hear. Bruce Wayne. I know who you are. Your choice is The guy is gonna sell me his house. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. I'm not telling you the house. But you should know, Mr. Falcone, my analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill at... Hey, what's... Private audience. Oh, come on, guys. Bruce? You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Have a drink, have a talk. We talk alone. Just you and me. Sorry, Harvey. Yeah, I'll, uh... I'll get a drink or something. Christ. Yeah, well, that's just like Harvey, huh? Wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. The man talks too much, chaps my face with words. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry this city on our broken backs. Might lighten the load if we do so together. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. I'm here to play so, pool at your expense. Let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Uh, or I can pull it out from play under. Play nice. Okay, imagine. This is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. I make them all move. And I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home. Hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light. If need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Now, we got a good thing going, so I don't see why we shouldn't team up. Oh, I'm everyone's friend. <laughs> Which means you're really no one's. Pick a lane before you have a head-on collision. You listen to me, kid. I know, somewhere inside that tuxedo, you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. Da da da. Yeah. Let that sink in. It's nice that we understand each other. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. 
I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Hey, I appreciate the hospitality, Mr. Wayne. But I, uh... <laughs> I don't think I'll put an offer on the house. A nice guy like you should have a nice place to live. I'll be seeing you, Bruce. While this city's still standing. Batman the Dead Air series. Can I pause? I can pause. Yay. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. Thank y'all, and have a nice day. Whenever this gets uploaded.